Good morning! <laughs> Today is November 24th. I am tired, clearly. <laughs> so a lot has changed in my life and the world since July 15th when I filmed my other little day in the life. So I figured, um, let's do a, a little update, a little back-to-back -back comparison. Uh, <laughs> some things that have changed in my life personally are I got my Irish citizenship, which is very exciting, so I didn't have to leave the country. Uh, I moved to a different part of Dublin, very exciting, and uh, we're back in lockdown. That part's a little less exciting. Um, we're in a level five lockdown right now. Basically what that means is there are some kind of strict restrictions again, uh, unlike in July when you could do things like go beyond a five kilometer radius or take the bus, uh, things like that we're not doing anymore, but uh, luckily where I live now, most of the city center is still within a five kilometer radius, so that's nice. Um, and you can still meet up with friends and go for coffees, that kind of thing, but all dining, indoor or outdoor is closed. You can't have people over to your home. Uh, all non-essential retail is closed, you know, the drill, that kind of thing. So I'm going to be doing fewer things today than I was doing in July, but that's okay. I'm gonna bring you along anyway. Hello, good morning. Uh, I am tired. <laughs> Today I'm going to be taking you through what my day looks like um, in what is phase three of lifting of pandemic restrictions in Dublin, Ireland. So obviously I just woke up and the first thing I do when I wake up always is eat breakfast and it's almost always peanut butter toast. So I'm going to go make peanut butter toast. <laughs> <laughs> For the first two months-ish of quarantine, we weren't allowed to go beyond a two kilometer radius of our house. Uh, and then after that, it was a five kilometer radius, which was slightly better, but um, none of my friends actually live within five kilometers of where I live. So I didn't see anyone besides my family, um, who I live with, for three months, which was odd. So what I did with most of that time was read and run. That's pretty much all I did. Oh, and stress bake. There was a lot of baking happening. <laughs> but running was really good for my mental health, I noticed, um, and it helped with all the chocolate chip cookies I was eating. <laughs> Uh, it also allowed me to see parts of my neighborhood that I had never seen before just because I hadn't really gone for long walks or runs in the area when I was, you know, busy on tour and spending time in the city center. So it was, that was a nice little positive of the, the initial really difficult part of um, quarantine. So I'm actually going to change into my running clothes right now so that I can't later talk myself out of going for a run. That's the trick, uh, but I still am digesting my peanut butter, so I'm gonna read for a little bit and then run. Can't you see I've given in? What's the point in arguing? It isn't gonna make it any clearer. What you came, what you come for? I don't wanna be ignored. One thing that lockdown has really solidified for me is how much I am someone who needs a routine just always like i love plans i love at this time i will do this thing and that doesn't really exist in lockdown uh but one thing that i have done almost every single day since about march 16th or whenever this all really uh kicked in uh is that after breakfast of peanut butter toast i have my comfy chair reading time it's a really nice way for me to feel semi-productive but also still relaxed and i can be the tired morning person, non-morning person that I am. <laughs> the book that I'm reading right now is called Girl, Woman, Other. It's so good. I feel like I've been seeing it everywhere recently. I think that it won the Booker Prize last year. I'm not totally sure, um, but I was able to pick up a copy from the library and it's so good. I'm gonna finish it probably tomorrow. Right now I'm reading Homegoing. It's really good. I just started it, so. I can't really share too much about it, but uh, I've been seeing it everywhere for a really long time and I've only heard good things about it, so I have a good feeling I'm gonna like it a lot. There's a sweeter side just to make it alright Oh, well, okay, fine, I'll be back like the tide It's a sweetness, such an incompleteness Running to my water is you I can see I'm losing this fight It appears I have made
made a friend who does not want to social distance. Hi. All right, I have showered and I've gotten dressed and I feel so much better. Now I'm gonna eat a quick lunch and then I'm gonna hop on the bus to meet my friend Solomon in town. It's time for lunch. It turns out that I'm nearly out of food. I think pretty much the only thing I have is peanut butter and my leftover takeaway Chinese food from last night. So after I eat lunch, we gotta go to the grocery store. As you can see, the bus is not actually very crowded. Um, I've made a point to not take the bus during rush hour because there are still people that are going to work, you know, essential workers um, and some other places that have opened up. So the buses, when I take them, tend to not have a lot of people on them, which is great. Um, but still, as you can see, seats are blocked off so that you can kind of maintain two meters or six feet, um, even when every seat is taken. And if there are too many people on, they won't continue letting people on. So there was one time where I did try to take the bus, I guess kind of close to rush hour in the morning. Um, and the bus driver just shook his head and I couldn't get on because there were too many people. like many museums in, in Dublin, um, is free and it's open for another 30 minutes or so. So there aren't really many people around, which is great. So we're gonna explore. I think one of the biggest differences between July and now is that it's currently 3.42 p.m. and the, the sun is setting. So that's not my favorite thing. So we've decided to take a break from walking uh, here in Phoenix Park, which I knew it was the largest something park, but I had to Google it and it is the largest enclosed city park in a capital city in Europe, I think. I've recently become one of those people who's really obsessed with getting 10,000 steps in every day. It's ridiculous, but I'm gonna do it. And I'm about 500 steps short for the day, so I'm gonna go take a walk. It is now raining, so I think I'm gonna forego that walk idea and get some work done. It's less exciting, but it's also necessary. Got some food. So now we're picnicking on a bench in Phoenix Park. sunburn today. Anyway, <laughs> I'm back home now. Um, it's just about 9 p.m. but because we're in Ireland, the sky still looks like this. That's kind of the beauty of Dublin in the summertime. It'll still be light for another hour at least. So I am pretty much done for the day. I think I'm about to go watch some murder documentary with my cousin. So I'm gonna leave you here. Uh, that was my day in the life of a semi-locked down Dublin, Ireland. Uh, hope you enjoyed. <laughs> it's only like 8 p.m., but I'm pretty much gonna retire to my room for the rest of the evening, maybe watch some good old Netflix, something like that. 
<laughs> so I'm gonna say goodbye to you here, but thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed seeing what life in Dublin looks like right now uh, compared to a couple months ago when things looked pretty different. I do believe that we're moving in the right direction. You know, we have two more weeks of this level five and then we'll see what happens next. Um, but obviously the most important thing is to keep ourselves and everyone around us safe. So that's the main focus. Um, but staying positive is really important, so that's what I'm working on. I hope you are too. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please do. I appreciate it so, so much. And I actually have a lot of new videos coming soon. I know I took quite a long hiatus this year, but I'm back and uh, I'm looking forward to it.